Hi, and in this video we're going to explore how to visually represent data using charts in Microsoft Word. Step one is to go to the Insert tab, the Illustrations group, and we're going to choose Chart. We're going to go with the Column Chart. There are different variations of Column Charts you can choose. I'm just going to stick with the very first option. Go ahead and insert that. Then we need to go and get our data together. I'm going to want to represent the high temperatures and the low temperatures. Over here I'm going to want to represent the days of the week. So whatever day it is today is where you would want to start. The problem with that is that there's not enough rows and there's an additional column that I don't need. So I'm going to grab this blue square. You just hover your mouse over it till it turns from the white cross into the double-headed arrow. And I'm going to drag it in and then down Friday, Saturday, whoop, Sunday. And I don't need any of the information over here where it says Series 3, so I'm just going to delete that. And then you need to go to weather.com if you were doing a weather chart and get the temperature. So let's say today's high temperature is 89 low of 61. I have 95, low of 65. And once you've got all those entered, I've got one more. You can just X out of the editing right region. And we've got our chart here. You need to add chart elements. You can click the plus sign right here on the side and we'll go ahead and get ourselves a chart title. We can add data labels that will show up over top of the edge. Something else that's always nice to have is axis titles. So you can click the arrow here. Horizontal goes left and right vertical, up and down, and then you can go in here and start titling your chart to make sense. So this might be weather for the week of, and then you can put whatever the date is. Down here at the bottom, these are the days of the week, so you would change your access title to days of the week. And these are the temperatures. Now to format these columns. I'm going to click once. It selects all my columns. I'm going to click a second time. It's going to only select the first column. And I'm going to right click and tell it that I want to format that. I want to fill it. So I'm going to click the fill bucket. And I want to fill it with a picture. If it's a picture you've saved, you click File. If it's a picture you've copied, you click Clipboard. And if it's a picture you found online or you want to find online, you'll click Online. I recommend copying the pictures from weather.com and using Clipboard. So for example, you can right click on this icon and say Copy Image right here. Then you can head back to your Word document and I can choose Clipboard. It stretches it out and that doesn't look very good, so I'm going to tell it to stack. And you can do that for all of the rest of your images.